guys, in today's video, you will be learning how to draw or even win this crazy end game. It's knight versus bishop versus a full queen. But here's the catch. It's white who's going to be the one who's going to lose or draw. And it's, it's going to be black who's the one that is going to win. Win! Win! Or draw. And in today's video, I will show you how to get to the sweet spot position and how to actually win the game and or or in worst case I'll draw the game but I mean black's ultimate goal is to draw the game your your opponent might not be that stupid but if you're playing against a beginner then I mean they might fall for it but really how would a but really I mean you kind of I mean, it's kind of weird if a beginner kind of takes your queen, but I mean, anyways, let's say you were not playing your best game. So anyways, let's dive into it, but before we do that, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. So now, let's get started. Okay, so... How do we get to the sweet spot position? What even is the sweet spot position? The sweet spot position is your king, your king guards the bishop, your bishop guards the knight, and your knight guards these squares, and your bishop guards these squares and then your king guards these squares so basically we have just made a little box around the king and the king and this white king can never enter it and a queen is useless without it anything right you can't checkmate without a kick a king king and queen and there's only a king and queen on the board so you need to get this set up where the knight where where your king is in the corner and your bishop is the same color as the corner and your knight is being defended by 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 this particular bishop so and it should be only one square away from the bishop. That is very crucial because otherwise the knight won't be able to defend these squares. And thus, the, it, it might take a long time, but the queen might, might invade if white tries and tries and tries. There is a possibility that the queen will invade and the king will also invade and deliver the finishing blow. So basically, you just want to get into this format, this diagonal format, where you have this little box of prevention. And notice that your king can, can move here, here, never move here, like in these other red squares. You should never do that, else you're outside of the box. And then this, this is just some vulnerability, or like this. So, anyways, um, now what do you even do? Well, here's what you do. So, if white is playing first, then you might do queen h7, and then you just slide your king back, king to g1, queen a7 check, h1, queen a1, king h2, Queen h8, king g1, king f4, I don't really know what he's trying to do. He, he's trying to flank us, but then he's going to notice that this is blocked, right? Right, and um, yeah, and this queen is just on a useless open, open file. 
But anyways, now bishop to h1. Now why do you do this? Well, it's because you need to waste some time. Now, now you're not supposed to do this, but in this position you are. Because in this, you cannot, you don't really want to move it here. Else, this just happens and there's no blockers. So you're going to have to disconnect the protection from the bishop. And then it's much more, well, your king is much more vulnerable. And there's no longer a box. And, you know, a pin can happen also, right? A pin can happen, so... It's, it basically, it's not bad. A pin can also happen from here, and the king is right here. And, um, yeah, a double attack, so... But... That's why you do bishop to h1, and it looks like you're exposing your king, but technically you're not actually doing that, because this square right here, I mean, can be, like, it, it's okay if you move here right now, if he does that, because you can always just automatically just go back to the same positions, but in this position, he goes queen to g7 check, and then bishop g2, queen a1, King h2, queen h8, and king to g1. And this game is gonna be, eventually, gonna be a draw. But here's the big question. How do you win? How do you win this lost position? Well, it kind of depends on your opponent, though. Okay? It's, because you can't really do much, else you're break the, breaking the sweet spot fortress. So let's just say that the queen was here, okay? Queen is here. Now, this is a very bad move, but, I mean, you can still win. You can do a discover attack, and really, I mean, that is kind of also a draw, right? So you can check him again, and then you can fork him right but he'll keep attacking but then you do this and now you really have to know how to checkmate with a knight and a bishop but and i'm gonna make a video on that pretty soon right now so in the next video you will be able to see how to um win with a bishop and and knight in the end game against a lone king so, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and once again, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and subscribe, and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!